Hey, you guys. What's up? Okay, so I got completely sidetracked. I was doing the envelopes and working on the envelopes and, you know, having fun with that. <clears throat> I cut I cut a whole bunch of them and, you know, anyway, I started gluing the um, pieces that I cut using my little template um, onto the tall skinny ones. And then I was like, okay, I really want to do some of the craft envelopes because I love craft paper. I love working with craft paper and it's just, I have lots of craft envelopes. Um, mostly purchased from Hobby Lobby, just so, just so you know. Um, most of the envelope, the craft envelopes that I'm using came from Hobby Lobby. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to get them at Hobby Lobby if you want to do what this little project that I'm working on. Um, but if you want your measurements to be the same as what I'm doing, then I'll tell you what the original like size of the envelopes are. So you can probably find them somewhere else if you want to. But just so you know, the ones that I'm using came from Hobby Lobby. Anyways, I'm kind of putting this little thing on hold with these envelopes for now because I want to see how I can try to integrate these into my little project. And I think this is going to be my monthly mini, maybe for March. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I haven't done, I haven't done a monthly mini. Uh, hold on. I haven't done a monthly mini for quite a while. It's been at least two months, you know, last one I did, I think was those, uh, the French letters, you know, the handwritten French letters. Anyway, so <clears throat> I had a whole, I have a whole bunch of these, um, these stringed envelopes that you can buy at Hobby Lobby. Um, they come in a pack of five, I think, and they're super cheap. You know, a lot of times they're half price and you can order these online whenever they go on sale. You know, it's really annoying when you go into a Hobby Lobby store and they have stuff like half price. They only have like one or two of that item out available. You know what I mean? So it's kind of annoying. Like it makes me not even want to go to the store because I'm the kind of person that if something is on sale and it's something I'm going to use, I'm going to buy like a bunch of them, you know? But so if you go to their website and order on their website, you'll pay shipping, but it's not super bad. Like it's really not that expensive for shipping, especially not for like paper items. Anyways, that's what I do is I, I watch their ad and when, when all of the um, paper studio stuff goes on sale, I order envelopes at half price on their website. And that way I can order like six packs of them at a time. Anyway, so I had like four or five packs of these envelopes and I just really wanted to use some of them. And I've always thought that they would be great. I have an extra score line on this one. It was an accident. Um, I've always wanted to make some minis out of these and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it because I wanted it to be more than just an envelope folded in half, you know? And so <clears throat> we were, I, I was really inspired looking at Jenna's little journals that she sent me to show you guys. And um, I was really inspired by those. And of course, I'm always inspired by Eva, uh, Bohemian Crafter and Wendy and, you know, people who do flippy outy things, you know what I mean? Um, Rachel does that kind of stuff a lot too. Anyway, well, sometimes. Um, anyway, so I don't know, it's kind of inspiring. It's time consuming though when you're thinking about hinging things and, you know, creating closures and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling motivated and I'm feeling inspired. So I think I'm going to tackle it. And I think these are going to be my minis. And of course I have to make a bunch of them. Um, so I'm going to shoot for 24. I don't know. Um, and, and like I said, the craft paper is great because it goes with any, anything like any paper goes with craft paper, right? Okay. So I'm calling these pocketbooks. Okay. 
uh, get, get you picking up what I'm laying down there. <laughs> anyway, so these are going to be pocketbooks, and I'm going to try to make them out of mostly envelopes, and I'm going to use um, a bunch of my new scrapbook paper, and I'll incorporate some collaging into some of the elements that are going to go into these. So if you would like to work along, I did take the time to sort of do like a prototype just to show you my general idea, okay? I have not actually completed one of these yet because I'm still sort of working out the details. But this is going to be kind of lap bookish, but it's not going to have like a whole bunch of things that fold out. Um, so here, let me just show you my ideas. Okay, so this is this is an envelope, and I've uh, you know glued some papers on here. Just just trying to work out how I want how I want it to work, you know. Um, so this is this is going to be an insert. I'm going to have a uh, an elastic in the center, so this will be able to slip into that elastic, and then uh, and it's just going to be the pocket, I think. And then I think I'm going to do just a small little junk journal that'll that'll go into the elastic also because I'll have two pieces of elastic in the center of this. So one uh, will be one side of the elastic will be for this, and then I'll do a, a little journal to go in there too. Hopefully there'll be enough room in these. Anyway, so this is a um, this is a craft envelope. It is. I don't know, A4, A5, A6, A whatever. Uh, it's like eight and a half by, oh God, um, like almost five and three quarters, okay? So, oh, the other thing was you could use one of these envelopes too because they're exactly the same size, you know? So if you don't want to get these, just use use one of these envelopes. These ones are, I think, not, yeah, nine by six. Okay, nine by well, they're actually nine by yeah, nine by six. Okay, so a nine by six like mailing envelope, you know. So this would be a great time to like maybe repurpose one of these if you've got some. Anyway, so that's that. So I'm gonna do this little guy, and then I wanted to add some extra pages so I'm using where's those other ones oh here they are so then there's also these that have come from Hobby Lobby um, these tall like document envelopes so these are um, 8.875 inches by 3.875 inches um, craft envelopes okay and they've just got the the little roundy flap at the top and I love using these with magnets because this flap is just I don't know because it's sturdy you know um, and it actually like the envelope comes up really high at the top so you have plenty of room to attach a magnet right there anyway so I had a whole bunch of these too these come in a pack of 25 and they're normally $4.99, so $2.50 for a pack of 25. I think that's that's a pretty good deal uh, for nice heavy craft paper. If you've never purchased the heavy craft paper at Hobby Lobby, check it out because it's really it's really nice. And they're, I don't know, I just really like the, the craft paper that they use for their envelopes. Um, okay, so then, so that's that. So that's what I've made these little pockets out of. Okay, and so that is going to be added into the spine just with a little strip of craft paper. Okay, so, so these will be attached to this piece of craft paper. This is going to actually get glued in here, um, so it'll really be like almost unnoticeable and then I think I'm going to do some collaging on the back of this and on the back of this side um, I thought about maybe making this like a little pocket 
I'm not sure. That's why I haven't really done anything with it yet. We'll see. I don't know. I might do that. Not sure. Anyway, so then this will be attached in the center of the spine here. Okay, so those will be like pages. And then, of course, this will be a pocket here. Um, I have an extra little... I thought I would just include another one of these like in one of the pockets, one of those little envelopes. So I took the, the, um, these envelopes, this bottom part of the, um, the string closure, it, it doesn't, um, the, the eyelet doesn't go through the paper. It's just glued on there. It's like, it's just glued on. See, they use, <clears throat> I mean, this isn't a terrible idea, but see, they use two little circles, put the eyelet through the two little circles, and then they just glued it, they just glued it on, you know, which I actually think is kind of cool because um, if you use a good enough glue, then that is going to stay pretty well. I mean, it's just paper, right? Anyway, but I took it off. Because I wanted to cover it with paper, you know. So that means I'm either going to reattach these. Okay. Or, I mean, this is just like a work in progress, right? I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Or, um, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this flap, but... I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. Um, so there's that. Don't really want to take it off. Because I do kind of like that. I do like having that flap. I was trying to figure out a way to use the flap to actually, you know, close up the journal. But it just wasn't working, like, to fold it in any particular way. And, like, I didn't want to have to trim this down or anything to get it to like wrap around to get it to wrap around the front and plus I wanted the front to be um, longer anyway so I'm just kind of showing you guys the elements of this little project so you so you sort of see where I'm going with it it's gonna be a lot of work but I think it'll be really cool anyway <clears throat> so this is like the cover and then we've got this little page insert Okay, it's like a pocket insert <clears throat> and then the removable pocket insert well I guess this isn't this is an insert this is going to be a permanent page and then these are the bottoms of these envelopes okay so these are the bottoms when I cut these off okay so I've got this kind of figured out how to standardize this. So I wind up with these three pockets that are these sizes, you know, so they kind of graduate. Um, and then I get these three sizes of, of, uh, of the pockets, you know, with the flaps. So I'm basically just cutting the bottoms off of three of these envelopes at different places so that I get three pockets of different sizes and then three, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so this is actually the, um, this is the part that wraps around the front of the cover. Okay. So I thought it would be kind of cool to have it attach at the back because that sort of makes it look like an envelope, right? Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I haven't decided yet if I want to do that. I do sort of like the way that looks. That's why I cut it at, a, you know, at an angle on these corners. But then I thought it was also kind of cool to just have it. I trimmed the bottom of this envelope off, obviously. Okay. Um, because I want to make that a pocket. And so I thought, well, I could just stick this in there, you know, and glue it in. 
and then and then you won't you won't see it on the back at all it'll be like magic you know and then um and then i can figure out what to do with this with this pocket i'm thinking about maybe notching it like this you know so so it's easier to access that pocket right there um yeah i'm not sure so but this is going to be i think the general structure of the the whole the whole little pocket book you know and um and then these little guys i'm trying to decide what i want to do with those <clears throat> i know i want them to be over here but i haven't decided whoops i haven't decided how i want them to attach you know i thought it would be kind of cool if they were all just sort of attached to each other right <clears throat> um just like as one piece and maybe just stitch them together with the sewing machine or something but then i was thinking it might it would be a lot cooler if if they like say if this one is attached here i just don't want it to impede the movement of the flap but so you gotta be i might need to make this a little bit wider just ever so slightly wider just to accommodate the wrap around you know anyway i thought it would be kind of fun to have those flip you know so like so this one would flip or this one would flip and this one would flip and then you could have this space to use and you could also have the backs of these pockets to use in your journal you know um or i could have them flip down maybe something like that that might be kind of fun like a waterfall type of thing i don't know let me know what you guys think if i if we should do the waterfall sort of assembly or if i should attach them to each other and it would make it sort of like six sort of like six pockets because it would be like one here one at the back one one here and then one at the back and one here and one at the back and then just kind of like permanently attach those to this flap you know or do you like the idea of them going sideways and opening up or down and opening up you know what i mean or i could have two go down and one up or something like that I don't know. <laughs> whatever I just whatever I do, it it's going to have to happen with all of the journals that I'm making. So I don't know if I'm even calling them journals, but I guess they're kind of like journals. So anyway, so that's what um that's what I'm doing. And <clears throat> it's going to take me a while, I think, to get these together. So on this um I cut this little flat, I cut this little section down just because I think that's kind of, I don't know, it looked weird with it being all the way up high like that. And I figured it'll sort of blend in better, you know, when I cut it down shorter. So I don't know. I was thinking about making another one of these and actually doing two of them, but I don't want it to get too bulky in the spine of the journal since i'm going to have the elastic in there too anyway um so if you guys want some measurements i'll give you my measurements of what i've done so far um so the cover the cover it actually goes this way um but when I did the scoring on it, I did it uh, this way. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, I scored it at 
And this is kind of hard to score, you know, because it's two layers of heavy craft paper. But um, I used the, like, sharper, I used the um, kind of a sharper sort of um, bone folder, you know. I usually use this one, but it wasn't working. So I use this one. Be careful, though, that you don't actually rip your paper. Anyway, so I scored it at four and a quarter and four and three quarters okay and then um and then you get like a quarter inch spine so that's that one and then i'm gonna just ever so slightly just cut a sliver off of the end of this envelope i don't want to shorten it at, at all really i just want to barely slice the end off just to open it up and then this envelope this is the the regular you know envelope I folded it in half and then I cut it off at four inches. So it starts out eight and a half inches, but I wanted to open up both ends of the envelope. Um, so I just folded it in half and then cut it off um, at four inches. Okay. So, so now it's an eight inch wide envelope. Um, so that's that. And then this little piece is where, those pockets are going to attach to this is um, I just cut it three inches wide. It could be a little bit wider if I'm going to use it as you know how I was saying that I might use those edges as pockets. I could make that. I could make see this right here. I could make this a little bit wider and that's actually not a terrible idea. I kind of like that idea. So I might cut one like that and put it together and see how that works out. But anyways, but you want, you just, you'll need a piece of um, craft paper that um, is the same height as your cover. Okay. So in this case, it's, you know, what is it? Six inches. Yeah, six inches. So this this paper is um, three by six inches, and I I just set it on the scoreboard, found the middle, and then went um, a quarter of an inch either side of the center of it. Right. So that made it one point two five and one point seven five for my scores. But if I was making if I was making this wider, say it was five inches, then you know, it would obviously be two and a half would be the center. So that would make your score line two and a quarter and two and three quarters. So you follow me? You picking up what I'm laying down? Okay. And then I don't know why I started saying that all of a sudden. And then these envelopes, um, the first one I cut the, the, I, you know, cut the top half, I, the top section off at five and five eighths inches. And the bottom one winds up being three and a quarter inches. Okay. And then the next one I cut at five and one eighth and this, and the bottom section winds up being three and three quarter inches. And then the last one I cut at four and a quarter inches, which makes the bottom half or the bottom section four and a half inches. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just first, I'm going to figure out if I want to cut this piece a little bit wider and use it as pockets. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll do that first and then I'm going to go through and cut everything and put everything together in their own little bundles like this. So everything, all the elements for each book is together. Um, I also have these little guys. These also came from, I don't know what's on that one. These also came from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little craft sack. So I might use one of these in the journals somehow. Um, and these are super cheap. They're like $1.50 when they're on sale for like, for like 25 of them, I think. Anyway, so that's that. As far as um, the paper, 
I went through and I cut all of my scrapbook paper that I'm going to use in these. So, <clears throat> um, you know, you might want to measure your your elements on your own, but these are the these are the measurements that that um, I use for, to cover the different sides of the of the book, right? <clears throat> So I guess you don't really need that, but I don't really need to give you guys all that much information, but um, you just have to measure your pieces and, and I cut them like an eighth of an inch um, smaller than what that side was, you know, anyway, so to fit on the envelopes, you'll want to cut your paper um, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. Well, these envelopes are, are three and three quarter inches wide. So you can use one piece of scrapbook paper if you want to, to cover all of your envelopes, you know, on one side. And, you know, just cut your strips like three and three quarter inches wide. And then and then five and a half, five inches and four inches. And then you wind up with three other pieces that you can then cut to four and a half, three and a half and two and three quarters. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just kind of how my brain works. And then since I'm making like 28 of these or 25 of these, I was trying to make sure that I could get the most out of a piece of scrapbook paper, you know, since, I mean, it's not cheap, right? So I was trying to just measure carefully. So I had almost no waste with my, with my scrapbook paper. So for my covers, um, I cut, I mean, since the scrapbook paper is 12 inches wide, I was able to cut a strip four inches wide, one four and a quarter inches wide, and one, the last strip left over was the the right width for the third strip. So I don't know. That's just way too much information. I It's just hard to explain. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you, if you cut, if you cut your scrapbook paper, I'll just cut one and show you guys what I mean. I'll just do it. <laughs> That's probably what I should have done to begin with, right? It's just I didn't necessarily need another page cut. But that's okay. I can use it anyways. Um, so this is a P this was a single this was a single um, page that I bought. So I got to cut that top off. Okay. So if I cut one, four inches, and then cut the next one, four and a quarter. It was funny. I was talking to Tracy the other night, Tracy Fox the other night, and she was telling me how bad she hates measuring things. Um, and then the last pay, the last strip is about three and seven eight. It's actually, it's it's like three and seven eighths, but you would think it would measure out to be three and three quarters, but it's actually a little wider than that. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm not sure why. Anyway, so then, so then this one I cut to five and seven eighths. I need two of those. Two at five and seven eighths. So I just have a little strip at the bottom. This is, this is the waist. And then this one also to five and seven eighths oh i think 
think I cut that one wrong. And then I'll show you where these go, just so you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then this one is five and five eighths. I think I cut the, that first one wrong. Anyway. <clears throat> so where's my little. Okay. So this is my sort of. They don't even tie that string on. It's weird. So then this, it just kind of carefully. pull it off okay so there's that so one of these goes I actually put one on the back okay so one goes there and then hold on Yeah, and then one, I think, hold on, where did I put it? Sorry, guys, I know. Where did I put it? <laughs> I did this like three days ago, so I'm trying to remember what the point was to all these pieces. And that one goes on there. This one goes here. I know, I've totally lost you guys. And a million people are probably going to message and go, what are you doing, Jessica? Um, anyway, and then these fit on the backs of the envelopes. I mean, you could put this stuff wherever you wanted, but I just wanted to show you that cutting a 12 by 12 sheet, if you measure it, if you measure it out right and you cut it out in, in those strips of those three strips, you wind up with hardly any waste. So like if, even if you just use like the envelopes and one sheet of craft or of scrapbook paper, you can cover quite a bit of the stuff. Of course, I have more because I did the, you know, these envelopes too. But anyway, so I just kind of, I just kind of wanted to run through that. I had it, I had it like way more organized in my head before I started talking about it. But um, I've got all my paper cut and that'll cover all of my uh, envelopes and stuff too. So as I go, I will come back and kind of show you guys how things have maybe been modified. Um, and then I will also do my pocket thing on the back of this, if that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll do some like collaging and stuff, depending on how I decide to do these. I might do some collaging on the back of these and on the backs of these, you know, um, I definitely want to do some kind of collaging on these. And then um, on the front, on the front of the cover and on here. So, and I might wind up doing another pocket on that flap too, on that side. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And um, if I haven't completely alienated you guys with my measurement thing, um, hopefully you guys will kind of try to work along with me because I think these would be I think these are going to turn out really cool and um and then we'll figure out what I'm going to put in them you know I think I just want to use these to put like I have so many like little tags and tickets and bits and just little pieces of ephemera and stuff like that 
a lot of the I actually have a lot of the like Tim Holtz ephemera stuff. So I probably will use a lot of that to to sort of embellish these too. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Little pocket books, sort of like lap books, I guess. But let me know what you guys think of my idea and tell me what you think I should do. <laughs> I need a vote on what I should do with this. If I should do it like waterfalls going down or pages flipping out or you know what I mean. So give me your, give me your thoughts on that. And uh, okay, I'm going to go back to my room and crochet a little bit more. And in the morning, I'm going to, I'm going to get after it and, and get a bunch of this stuff cut and scored and organized. And then I will, <laughs> I'll try to, I'll try to get my, you know what together and tell you exactly where these pieces of paper are supposed to go. And if they need to be cut differently, cause I might've actually cut these before I figured out exactly what I was going to do. So those measurements not, might not be exactly perfect on some of those pieces because this is what I was going to do originally was like that, you know, but this just didn't work for the flap. So yeah, but I like the way this is working out. Um, so yeah, I do think, I actually do think that one of these measurements because see, I had the front flap was a different size than this back piece, you know. So that's why I had one at four inches and one at four and a quarter, you know. So this one was four inches wide and this one was four and a quarter. So I think what I need to do, sorry, I'm just going on and on, you guys. But I think what I need to do is actually cut down my four and a quarter inch pieces so that they'll fit in the new design, you know, cause they're a little bit too wide. Um, yeah, that's what I think I need to do, but I'm going to make sure before I do any more cutting of anything. So, okay. I'm wrapping it up now. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Thanks for putting up with me and, uh, I will see you soon, sooner than later. Um, I do, just to let you guys know, um, since I have been vaccinated and I feel so much safer out there in medical facilities and stuff, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been putting off and I, I'm gonna, I'm getting it all kind of in now. Like, so I have a lot of appointments coming up doctor appointments and things like that. So, um, you know, if I'm not around very much, that's part of the reason. Um, but just be aware that I'm okay. Like I'm not sick or anything. Um, I just, I have some stuff and I'm dealing with it. Um, nothing life threatening. Um, I just have some stuff going on that I'm trying to deal with and, um, it's all been sort of put off. And so now I'm trying to just take care of it all at once. So, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now.